lesson, I'm going to be talking about atomic number and mass number, and then also atoms and ions. So let's first talk about the difference between an ion and an atom. Now, atoms are simply particles that have no charge. So when you look at the periodic table, all of those elements are atoms. When you add electrons or you get rid of electrons, that's when you have an ion. Now, an ion has an electrical charge. So if you get rid of electrons, which are negatively charged, you end up with a positive charge. If you gain electrons, which have a negative charge, then you have a negative charge ion. So let's look at this example. You've got the nitride ion, nitrogen there, with a three minus charge. Okay? And the one piece of information that I've told you is that the mass number is 14. Okay? So if I have nitrogen, if I look at the periodic table, the number of protons it has is seven. That's given you can just use your periodic table to figure that out. Now, the tricky part is figuring out the number of neutrons. Well, the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Those are the two subatomic particles that contribute to mass. The electrons do not. So if I take the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, that will give me my mass number. Well, I'm given my mass number in this problem, it's 14, and I'm given my number of protons, which is seven, which tells me that my number of neutrons would be seven, okay? Now that I know my number of protons and neutrons, I can figure out of electrons. Well, my charge, this is an ion because it has a three minus charge. Now, three minus charge tells me I have three more electrons than I have protons. So since I have seven protons, I have three more electrons, that means I'm gonna have 10 electrons, and that's it.